Hello, welcome to our channel and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the lecture 8 that is studying the enzyme chart. Okay, and next is the flow chart of human beings, human digestive system. Now let us start with the activity 4 that is the studying enzyme chart. Okay, what is an enzyme? In the previous lesson also we have discussed that enzymes are the biocatalyst. They help in the reaction process. It means they help in, the, they enhance the reaction process. Okay, these enzymes are used in the digestion process also. Okay, digestion of the proteins, the digestion of vitamins, and digestion of the sugars, and so on. So these enzymes are most important. In the previous lesson, we have discussed about the digestion process, how the digestion is going to occur. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss about how they are absorbed and what are different things that are helping in the digestion process. Okay, now let us see in this table. In this table, you can see the enzyme and substance or substance so way they have secreted and secreted into which organ or which where it is secreted and it's the digestive system uh, digestive juices and acts on and product okay now let us see the first is the tyrin so the tyrin is released by salivary glands in the last class we have discussed about three pairs of the salivary glands okay three pairs means total six three on the one side and three on the other side of the face okay so this is released it's secreted to the buccal cavity buccal cavity means the oral cavity so next is that they are digestive juices that is nothing but saliva saliva contains the salivary amylase they are going to act on the carbohydrates so when the carbohydrates are digested they will turn into maltose so maltose is a, a sugar so next is the pepsin so the pepsin is secreted by the gastric glands so what is the gastric glands gastric glands means intestine the term gastric so the term gastric refers to the elementary canal so do you have you heard about gastroenterologist so gastroenterologist means the doctor who deals with the uh, deals with the digestive system okay so these gastric glands are present in the in the uh, in the elementary canal so especially they are helpful in the digestion of the uh, different uh, proteins so they released into the secreted into the stomach okay in the stomach the gastric glands release their secretion they help in the digestion of the proteins help in the pro help in the formation of peptones have you seen in the last class we have seen that these let us consider this is the protein and in the last class we have discussed the protein will get digestion into peptones or peptides and these peptides in the intestine they will get converted into small individual amino acids these are the nutrients so these are the nutrients the body will get absorbed so these are proteins peptones or peptides in the stomach and these are the amino acids in the small intestine okay so in the intestine they will get absorbed so next the bile juice secreted by the liver liver is going to secrete the bile juice and it is secreted into the duodenum its the juice is known as bile juice they are going to act on the fat okay so that is now the fat will get emulsified that is known as emulsification the fat will get turned into fatty acids or you can call it small globules okay small globules is this is known as this process is known as emulsification okay so performed with bile juice only so next the amylase so it is amylase there are two types salivary amylase and also amylase is secreted by the pancreas so they will get reduced uh, re released into the duodenum so what is duodenum after the stomach you will see the c-shaped structure so this is known as geodenum. Into the geodenum, the pancreatic juices will be released. Uh, not only pancreatic juice, but also the bile juice and so on. Okay. And they will convert. They will, they will act on the carbohydrates and help in the formation of the maltose. So trypsin, it is a protease. It helps in the digestion of the uh, proteins. Okay, digestion of the proteins helps in the formation of peptones. Here you can see the peptones. So next the lipase, they help in the form of digestion of the fats into fatty acids and also glycerol. Glycerol is another main important component in the digestion of the fatty acids. So next the peptide, peptidases, they help in the, they are secreted by the intestinal glands, secreted into the small intestine. Digestive juices is intestinal juice acts on the peptides into amino acids so these are the peptides these peptides will get converted into amino acids okay so next is sucrases intestinal glands small intestine uh, release secreted into small intestine and digestive juice is the intestinal juice acts on sucrose and also glucose 
So in the exam, they will ask that they will ask which one is the enzyme, which one is not the enzyme. You can see here, these all are the enzymes except except bile. Okay, bile juice. Okay, so bile juice is not an enzyme, not an enzyme. Remember that bile juice contains bile salts. Okay, so next, these except bile juice, everything is an enzyme. So how can you find out the enzyme? So anything, the suffix, okay, A-S-C, okay. If you see the word A-S-C, this is known as enzyme, okay. But some of them, they, they do not contain A-S-C suffix. Suffix means after the word. So example, lipase, okay, can you see? L-I-P-A-S-C. So the word A-S-C, it is a suffix. Whenever you see the word A-S-C after the after the any word that is nothing but enzyme but there are some words like pepsin okay the pepsin can you see the ASE word no you cannot see the ASE word but even though it doesn't have the ASC suffix it is an enzyme okay so these are the things but this call this small trick helps in the identification of the enzymes in the examination so such kind of tricks helps you to save the time in the exams okay so next here you can see the tyalin. So the tyalin is also a enzyme, but it doesn't have the suffix ASE. Okay. So next here you can see amylase. Can you see the ASE word? It is an enzyme. Trypsin. Even though it is an uh, it is an uh, prot, it is an enzyme. It is not going. It is not an. Uh, even though the trypsin is a uh, enzyme, it doesn't have the ASE suffix. Next lipase. You can you see ASC word? It is an enzyme. Peptidase ASC enzyme. Sucrase ASC enzyme. So here there is uh, there they, they also ask lipase. It is an enzyme. It acts on what? Okay. So it acts on fat. Okay. So LIP. The term LIP. Okay. Refers to lipids. Okay. ASC. Okay. Can you see the word LIP? LIP stands for lipids. Okay lipids so next is the sucrase the term sucrase how do identify the product of the sucrase okay s u c r a s c sucrase can you see the s u c r s u c r refers to the sugars okay so they are involved in the sugars formation here you can see there is a formation of sugars that is known as glucose so peptidase so how to identify the product of the peptidase enzyme so can you see P E P C I D A C? Okay. So the first letter P E P peptide. Peptide refers to the formation of the amino acids. Where is the where is the peptidase? Here you can see the peptides. Okay. So act on peptides leading to the formation of amino acids. Okay. So lipase is over, peptidase is over, sucrase is over. Next is the amylase. So amylase, it is an enzyme, it is also an enzyme, it acts on the carbohydrates. So you cannot find exact uh, trick over here. And uh, pepsin, pepsin refer, act on the proteins. PEP, P-E-P-S-I-N. -E so the first PEP refers to the protein, okay. So these are the small tricks to remember the flow chart or the table and you can answer better in the examinations okay so for the, here is the few question the first question is name the enzymes which act on carbohydrates so what is carbohydrate they are sugars whether it may be simple sugars or complex sugars so simple sugars simple sugars like glucose molecules complex sugars like starch okay the complex sugars like starch okay so these are simple these are complex okay so here these complex sugars turned into simple sugars by the enzyme known as tyalin. Okay, tyalin or salivary amylase. So the salivary amylase or tyalin is going to act on sugars. Okay, or carbohydrates. So which juice contains no enzyme? Just now we have discussed the bile juice is not an enzyme. Bile juice is not an enzyme. Bile juice contains bile salts, which is helpful in the emulsification of the fats okay what are the end products of the fat end products of the fat are fatty acids and glycerol 
so what which enzyme is going to help in it remember here the fat fatty if there is fat what is that is nothing but lipid fat is nothing but lipid if it is a lipid it is nothing but lipase lipase an enzyme it is going to act on the fat leading to the formation of fatty acids and glycerol so what are the enzymes that act on proteins so the proteins pp refers to the protein so next also trypsin so pepsin and trypsin are going to act on the enzymes uh, act on going to act on the proteins these two are the enzymes okay so absorption is transport absorption of the food material or the nutrients it gets transferred into the digestive digested products so for example let us consider this is the food material get digested into small nutrients or microscopic nutrients they will get transported into the blood okay they will get transported into the blood so here there is a process known as absorption okay absorption so how the absorption will be seen let us consider this is the small intestine a tube okay elementary canal the small intestine so the small intestine has small finger like projections the small finger like projections inside okay so these small finger like projections are known as villi okay these villi are going to help in the absorption process so now let, let us see how they look like let us zoom the structure and see how they are going to look like okay so they are going to look in this way okay they are going to look in this way and you can see there is a blood supply also okay there is a blood supply blood vessels are going to come and they are also going to uh, enter into the villi and exit the villi so let us consider these are the nutrients okay so this is the food material broken down into small nutrients so what will happen these nutrients get absorbed into the finger like projections okay finger like projections and these nutrients will get mixed with the blood and these blood will carry these nutrients the blood will carry these nutrients into the body okay this is a main process it means the food material complex food material get, get uh, the complex food material get digested into small nutrients or microscopic nutrients these microscopic nutrients get absorbed by the villi a finger like projections and uh, mixed with the blood and this blood will carry these nutrients into the main bloodstream and into the body okay and again these nutrients like amino acids okay so the amino acids and nutrients what they will do in your blood so these amino acids will get transferred into the cells okay in your body cells and what the cells will do these cells will help in the production of the proteins okay so proteins it means the proteins which is taken from the plant okay get digested into the amino acids these amino acids is get absorbed by the intestine will lie and these amino acids will again used for the build up of your proteins okay these proteins are pre present in the nails okay the, your fingernails is made up of protein hair is made up of protein so how this protein is made the protein is made due to food okay by consuming the food material they help in the production of these proteins and hemoglobin is a protein and so on okay so they are product absorbed first uh, first absorbed into the villi then blood vessels and then into the lymph vessels lymph is a fluid like structure a fluid that is present in the blood that is known as lymph we will discuss in detail about lymph, lymph in future videos okay after the maximum absorption the food moves into the from the small intestine into the large intestine so small intestine okay so mostly the absorption is done and it enters into the large intestine so here it contains undigested food also undigested food also present in the small intestine this undigested food enters into the large intestine okay but this undigested food material contains lot amount of water so this water will get absorbed into the large intestine so water is get absorbed into the large intestine so large intestine is going to absorb more amount of water from the waste material and the defecation process eliminated the defecation process is the elimination process of the waste materials and digestion of food materials so in the the food material which is present in the large intestine it is undigested undigested okay so for example if you eat any material like uh, uh, any food material that containing fiber fiber will not get digested so the fiber directly moves into the large intestine so large intestine and in the from the large intestine it get expelled into the 
from the uh, from the large intestine into the anus or from the anus into the environment okay the process is known as defecation defecation is nothing but elimination of waste and undigested food material through anus is known as defecation process okay so through anus the food material enters into the external environment or outside the body so the food that passes through the anus containing considerable amount of fats proteins carbohydrates even though the waste material the fecal matter fecal matter is also known as the waste material that is coming through the anus so the fecal matter also contains carbohydrates okay it is nothing but sugars the fecal matter contains proteins the fecal matter contains fats okay so these are the components that is present in the fecal matter even after the digestion okay and next the flow chart of the human beings so how this flow chart is going to explain how the food is moving and from where to where the food is moving and how it is getting processed so the first food is uh, entering into the mouth okay in the mouth there is a mastication process that process is known as uh, that process leads to the formation of a uh, bolus and the bolus enters into the buccal cavity from the buccal cavity into the pharynx and from the pharynx into the esophagus when the bolus enters into the esophagus there you can see peristalsis okay the peristalsis okay so the peristalsis will be seen in the esophagus and in the from the peristal from the esophagus you can see it is entering into the cardiac stomach cardiac stomach means the region the the region which is near to the heart the elementary canal that is near to the heart is known as cardiac stomach and the next is the pyloric stomach so okay in the pyloric stomach you can see the entry of the bolus okay so from the pyloric stomach there you there you in the stomach there is a digestion process okay after digestion process there you can see entry into the duodenum so what is duodenum it is a c-shaped structure so it is a c-shaped structure that is coming from the stomach that is coming from the stomach and this is known as duodenum okay so from the duodenum entrance to the small intestine so in the duodenum you can see the two organs the liver and pancreas they are going to release their secretions into the duodenum they are going to release their secretions and after secretion it enters the food enters into the small intestine so before the duodenum it is acidic nature acidic food okay so next after the duodenum you will see the basic food okay the basic nature of the food it means the pH is increasing. So in the large intestine, from the small intestine is going to enter into the large intestine. Large intestine contains undigested food material and waste materials. And from that, it enters into the rectum. And the rectum is entering into the anus. It means the food material from the rectum to anus it will be passed. And from the anus, it enters into the environment. Okay so this process is known as defecation the exit of the undigested food material and uh, waste materials from the anus into the environment is known as defecation process okay and i hope this lecture is helpful to you and uh, if you want to get notifications about more about the lectures and future uh, future lectures subscribe and if you get if you subscribe to the channel you will get notifications on new lesson uploads and you can attend the live classes also and like the video share and comment okay so i will we will know about uh, modifications or changes needed that through your comments only okay so comment in the comment section and in the next lecture we are going to discuss about health aspects of the elementary canal and diseases due to malnutrition and vitamin deficiencies and our vitamin deficiency diseases okay and uh, we will see you in the next lecture